Welcome back guys to Fox here. Today we're going to be building the Lacrosse Fire Department from Lacrosse, Wisconsin Rescue Trucks or the LCFD. So we have rescue number one and rescue number two. So let's go over them. Rescue number one is right here. This is using a Marion Body Works truck. It's built on a Spartan cap and it has this red and black color scheme. So right over here and then this black stripe going across and then also another black layer on the top part. And uh, it also does have some roof detail. And um, here's what it looks like in the back. We got the reflective yellow chevron reflective striping along with the number here, yeah, which is supposed to be uh, rescue number one. And then right over here, this is gonna be the Ford F450 rescue number two. It's a lot smaller truck and it does have some uh, iron trap doors here to represent the door dividers because there's like three doors that can open up. And then in the back, we also have reflective chevron um, striping along with the number there in the middle. And um, yeah, it's a pretty small build. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for the two builds. We're gonna be building uh, both rescue trucks today. And uh, this is both actually commissioned by Railfan Lily. So thanks to him for making this video possible. And if you guys would like to commission a road vehicle for yourself, check out the link in the description. He also did commission Quint 1 and Quint 2, which I was originally gonna combine this into one video, but then I realized uh, there are a lot more work I needed to work on them. Uh, so I'll just do uh, these guys in one video and then the quint's gonna be another video. Uh, but yeah, let's get started on the build. First on the easier one, rescue number two. So first off, let's grab some materials. We'll take out a polished anisite slab, polished blackstone brick, a slab, and polished blackstone stairs, diorite uh, wall, red nether brick stairs, nether brick stairs, a smooth stone slab, stone button, and a red concrete. All right, so first off in the front, we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab hovering above the ground like this. And then on either side, we'll add in a polished inside a slab. Then on top of that, we'll add in a diorite wall. In the middle, we'll add upside down polished uh, black stone stairs. Behind it, we'll add in um, a red concrete two blocks long. And the bottom here, we'll add in uh, nether brick stairs, upside down, facing inwards. And then three smooth stone slabs. And then we'll need a red nether brick slab, two blocks long, both sides. And then um, a black a black wool. And then a red nether brick slab, two blocks long, two blocks long here. And then there's going to be that uh, polish anisite slab here and three blocks wide of iron trap doors. Then in the middle, we'll add in an open up birch fence gate like that. And red concrete two blocks tall on either side. And the middle will be uh, this smooth stone block, two blocks tall. And the sides of that, we'll add in a crimson button with a dark oak sign right underneath it. Also add in a red uh, stone uh, torch. Now, um, if you're building this in survival and you don't have a debug stick, um, you could just leave it alone. You don't necessarily have to add this because then anyway, it's going to be kind of covered by the banner. And yeah, we'll open up that fence gate in the middle and also add in stone buttons to the sides of the wheels and red nether brick stairs upside down right above the wheels. Then we'll add in uh, oak um, block, oak planks, two blocks long. And then it's going to be a red concrete here. And then a red wool, two blocks tall. Then uh, skip a block, red wool, two blocks tall. And then in the middle, it's going to be a red concrete. And then a polished anisite slab here, red wool on top. And then birch trap doors on either side, close them up. And this side, we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Close up these trap doors. And then at the bottom, we'll add in a polished blackstone brick slabs. Gonna go all the way across to the front. This. And I think I forgot that stone button over there in that corner, so I'll add it for the wheel. All right, next up, we'll add in red concrete right here on either side. Then the middle, we'll add in a black uh, concrete two blocks long. And then three blocks wide of polished blackstone brick stairs. 
And then a dark oak uh, trap door on the sides. Gotta close them up so it's back to back, both sides. Then next up, we'll add in a daylight detector, three blocks wide. And we're gonna make the outer ones blue. We're gonna close up these trap doors. Then we'll add in um, black carpet, three blocks across for the roof. And a two by three in the front. Then we'll add in the middle, it's gonna be a spruce sign like this. And then to the sides, we'll add in um, wither skeleton skull. The side, same thing. And then we'll add on the top. It's going to be a uh, red con I mean red nether brick slab, three blocks wide. And in the back, we'll add a daylight detector here. And then red nether brick slabs going to cross. Add the corners in the middle. And then oak slabs for the rest. And we'll also add in a stone bun to the side. Just like that. And then for the back part, we'll need to make these banners. All right, so first let's make this banner in the middle. Kind of looks like a nine, but whatever. <laughs> uh, we'll go inside the loom, add in a light gray banner with a red dye. And we want to have it so it's going to be on right hand column, put it back inside. And we'll add in light gray dye and we want that on the bottom half, put it back inside and then red dye again. And we're going to add in a line in the top row, put it back in, and the middle row. And we're also going to add in light gray dye border on the outside of that. Alright, so then we'll put this banner in the middle, just like that. And then for these banners, it's really easy, just a red banner, yellow dye, make a diagonal one way, put it back inside, and then light gray on the bottom third of it. And we'll just add that to the back of the cab and you know you just make the diagonal the other way for the other side and yeah that should be pretty much it on how to make um rescue number two now let's go ahead and build the bigger one rescue number one so first off let's grab some materials um iron trap door red nether brick slab um and stone brick um and then a bedrock polished deep slate slab black concrete, acacia sign, red concrete, and a polished black stone brick slab. All right, so first off, we'll add in endstone brick slab, two blocks above the ground, and then a red nether brick slab, and then endstone, and then red nether brick slab again. All right, then behind it, we'll add in two blocks wide of bedrock. And then on top, two blocks wide polish uh, deep slate slab. And then red concrete to the side of that. And then the middle part's gonna be um, black concrete. So it's gonna be two blocks wide. Like that. And then another black concrete to the side. Then we'll add in an acacia sign to the side of that. And then a birch sign in the front corners. Down below, we'll add in um, iron trap door like this in the corners. And then to the side here, we'll add in, um, well, behind it, two blocks wide, red concrete, two by two of black concrete, and then a polish um, blackstone brick uh, block right here, slab on top, another slab going down forward, and a polished blackstone brick wall right behind it. And the other side, we can do the same thing, like that. And we'll add in polished blackstone brick slabs for the axle, the wheel. Then we'll add in upside down um, red nether brick stairs facing towards the front, both sides. And then we'll add in an iron trap door, case trap door, iron trap door, a case trap door, and then iron trap door. Other side will do the same thing. Then we'll um, skip a block, add in polished blackstone brick block, slab on top. Same thing on the other side, and then we'll connect the two with the axle and polished blackstone brick wall behind it. Then we'll add in stone buttons to the sides of all of our wheels. And then in the front, we'll add in an iron trapdoor in front of that first wheel. Um, next up, we'll add in um, this red wool. 
add one here, both sides. And then the inside, this is going to be um, polished black stone brick slabs all the way across. Other side, same thing. And then a 2x2 two two red concrete. And then we'll add in red wall 2x2. Two two. Alright, <clears throat> and then a, for this wheel, we'll add in two blocks wide, polish and site blocks like that. And then black concrete two blocks wide in the front and the back. Then we'll add in um, polish and site stairs upside down so it's facing towards the wheel both sides. Then we'll add in two blocks long, or actually two by two of red wool. Back of this like this, both sides. And the middle will make a two by three of smooth stone blocks. Then at the top, we'll add in another red wool block like that, both sides. And then four blocks, actually just black concrete in the corners. The middle is actually going to be red concrete. Then on top, we'll add in four blocks wide of black uh, carpet like that. And then to the side, we'll add in a dark oak sign of sides. And the inside, we'll make a 2 by 4 of red wool. Inside, we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab, 4 blocks long, both sides. And then next up, let's go um, over here, red wool, make it 1 here, and then a 2 by 2. And pretty much the same thing on the other side. And then upside down, polished black stone brick stairs facing towards the back, both sides. And red wool two blocks wide on the inside, and also red wool on the bottom three blocks like that, both sides. All right, so next up in the front, we'll add in a back to back dark oak trap doors like that, and a black glass in the corners, and a polished black stone, I mean, uh, nether brick wall right behind the windows. And then black concrete, it's going to be two blocks long. And then we'll add in a row of red concrete going all the way across both sides. Then we'll add in a black concrete right behind the wall. And also on the inside, two blocks wide there. And we'll add another one here, skip block another one. And also black um, glass block in the middle of that and the black concrete on the inside of this and in the front we'll add in daylight detectors in the corners make them blue and then two blocks wide polished black stone brick slabs and a row of four polished black stone brick stairs and then we'll add in black concrete four blocks wide and we're going to make this go to the back of the cab where it's all black just like that and then we're also going to add black concrete going all the way to the back on the sides the middle is actually going to be metallic, so that's going to be a little asymmetrical. So uh, we'll add in two blocks long, smooth stone blocks, and then black stone button here. And then the polished anisite stairs right there facing the back. Another polished anisite um, slab after that. And then polished anisite blocks. Two blocks wide going all the way across to the back. And then alongside it, we'll add in a light gray carpet just like this. All right, then next up, we're gonna add in um, birch sign. It's gonna line up with the back wheel. And then two oak buns on either side of that. Other side, we'll do the same thing. Then we'll add in the front. It's gonna be the, um, the handlebar. So it's gonna be one here, iron bar, and then skip to add another one at the lever. So it's right above it, pull them down both sides. And the other side, we're going to do the same thing. Pull them down. I'm going to add in a black stone bun here. Oak bun, another oak bun here. And then the other side, oak bun here. And the oak bun here, black stone button. And also a birch sign right at the top. The side, same thing. And a stone bun right underneath that. Um, just like so. All right, then in the back, uh, we're going to add in an iron trap door right behind the wheel, both sides. And then an acacia trap door. And then um, two iron trap doors, and then acacia trap door, and then iron trap door again. And light gray carpet, four blocks wide. Cross just like that. 
All right, so next we're going to make these banners. So go to the loom, add a light gray banner, and red dye. And we want that on uh, left hand side column. I put a light gray dye on the bottom half of this. So it should be just like that. Put it back inside, and then red dye on the top and also the middle. And then light gray border around it. Alright, so that's the first banner. Now second banner, light gray dye, and then a uh, red dye. And we want that in the middle, put it back inside, and then light gray dye. I try to go um, halfway down, bottom, put it back inside, and then light gray dye border around it. So yeah, now we have these two banners. Check, it's all right. And we just add that right there at the bottom. All right, now we're gonna make these three banners. So they're all using the same base, which is just a red banner with a yellow dye stripe. So we'll make that one first. We're gonna make uh, three copies of it. So one is just regular, and then we'll put it back inside, and then a uh, light gray dye, and we want it on the bottom half of it. All right. So that's gonna be a second banner and the third banner. To add a light gray dye on the upper corner of it. That's pretty much it. So we're gonna place the regular one, two of them uh, down here, sides, um, the half gray one up here, and the one in the corner, just like that. And for the other side, you just do the diagonal the other way. And I think <laughs> I have to fix this in the middle of the video because I think at the beginning I was I had some welded it glitch and there was like showing like the other side. All right, then in the front, we'll add in stone buttons like this and then item frames around it like that. And also we'll need to add in iron uh, bars to the sides for the side view mirrors. And yeah, that should be actually pretty much it on how to make the lacrosse fire department rescue trucks in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy the video and thanks a lot to Railfan Lily for commissioning this build and making this video possible. If you guys are interested in commissioning for yourself, check out the link in the description and I'll see you guys in um, part two. We're going to be building the quince. Bye.